Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 20, difference between Process Studio and the Object Studio. In this session, we will learn the major difference between Process Studio and the Object Studio. What are the main differences between Process Studio and the Object Studio? If you see on my left hand side, we are having Process Studio. On my right hand side, I'm having Object Studio. In Process Studio, process is created as a diagram that looks much like a common business flow diagram. Whereas Object Studio, a developer or business analyst uses a Blue Prism development tool called Object Studio to create objects graphically. In Process Studio, every process is defined using one or more pages, each of which is similar to business object action and each page contains some of some number of stages and data items whereas object studio each action in a business object can contain stages and data items similar to the process in process studio along with multiple uh, stages alert is available whereas in object studio we don't find alert over there in process studio read write wait navigate code stages are not available Whereas Object Studio, read, write, wait, navigate, code are available. Because of Process Studio will not interacting with external applications. Whereas Object Studio, it will interact with the external applications. In Process Studio, process having main page as a default page. Whereas business object having three default pages. One is initialize, clean up, and action in process studio process interacts with object studio and the controller room whereas object studio interacts with external applications if you go for the process studio launch and application modelers are not available whereas in object studio we will find launch and application modelers are available let me switch to blue prism virtual workforce let me open one of the process from the process studio and let me open the sample business object from the object studio. On my left hand side screen, if you see this is the process studio, I have opened one of the process. On my right hand side, I have opened one of the object that is sample business object on my right hand side. Now let me show you the major differences that what we have seen previously as a theoretical. Now I will show you how, what are the differences that we are having with practically by using these studios. If you see over here, I'm having in process studio, I'm having link blocks, all the stages, whatever they required, along with them that I'm having alert over here. Whereas on my object studio, I don't find alert over here. That stage is not available over here. If you see in object studio that I'm having extra, like, you know, as additional that I'm having read, write, navigate, code, wait. These are all the stages as I'm having extra, uh, Additionally in the object studio whereas in process studio. I don't find all these stages over here Correct and after that if you see when I have created a Process in process studio. I'm having main page as the default page Correct if you see on my object studio. I'm having initialize clean up and actions These are all the pages that it is available on the object studio now if you see in object studio that I'm having launch and application model if you see on the top of the object studio that I'm seeing launch and application model whereas I don't find these things in process studio what is the reason behind that object studio is going to interact with the external applications whereas process studio nothing but process is not going to interact with the external applications these are all the main differences what we are having for the process studio on the object studio in the next session, we'll discuss about more about the application modeler and the launch. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.